Hey, greetings to you, friends. My name's Harry, and I'll make a quick video today on my. I got a 2006 F250, six liter power stroke that I use for work, and this has been a great truck. So um, it's rough. It's getting it's getting old fast, like me, and um, it's got over 500,000 on it now. Uh, and one of the best features of these trucks, and really Fords in particular, that I like, is this keyless entry pad. And um, it's just a fantastic feature for keeping your keys in the in the truck, and or or, or whatever, or when you lock them in by accident, anything. So I can give my my combination to my kids or whatever, and they can run out and get something. I don't have to give them the keys on and on so I, I i love this feature this is the original pad so far as i know i've had this truck for about nine years and i've never changed it and you can see the buttons are pretty wore out i went to get in it the other day and my keys were in it and i was having a problem getting in because one of the buttons there i think it was the five six would not it would not work and i needed it to work and i thought i was gonna have to break in my truck so anyway i picked up a new one and i'm just going to run run through changing one i've never changed one before um so i got started on it and got to thinking maybe i'll make a video on it because maybe there's somebody out there as these trucks get older want to try and tackle it and want to watch somebody do it and so here we go i thought it'd be a good opportunity for one so anyway the first thing we need to do and this thing is a work truck so it's it's like nasty you see here we're running Five oh two on this baby. Um, so it's real easy to do, and these door panels, man, I'll tell you, they're they're one of the best door panels, in, in my opinion. Just on ease of, I've I've never seen one personally. I've worked on a lot of these trucks. I've never seen one broken. Um, never seen any interior handles broken. I'm sure it happens, but I've never seen one. Um, and it's one of the easiest door panels to get off. So let me show you how this works. So you take this and just yank that off. It's push in style stuff. Um, if you'll take this, and I don't have my tripod set up here because it's gonna be kind of a fast, quick video. But if you take this, usually with your hand, you just pull that up and out. And let's see if I can get this for y'all with one hand going. And I know there's going to be haters out there saying, oh, it's so, it's so shaky. Uh, I can hardly watch without getting dizzy. Um, I'll just look away for a minute, maybe. So here's what I'm going to do. I can't do it with one hand, so I'm going to pause it and come right back. But they're very easy to get off with two hands. Just all these are kind of quick release. Just push the button in. And I just can't do it. And my fingers are cold because it's like 30 out. But anyway, let me pause it. I'll get these off and pick it right back up. All right, so there we go. That was easy. It took like 10 seconds. Okay, so get that off. Get that unplugged. Um, I've already taken... There's two screws that hold this panel on. It's it's amazing. One screw right here when, once you take that the switch bank off. And then the other one is right behind this reflector. If you'll take like a little trim tool or a little pry tool, just get in there where that slot is. And actually, there was, I guess there's supposed to be a light there. It must have fell out. But anyway, there's a screw um, right there that I've already taken out. And then all you do here is just, just lift straight up. <laughs> and it's that easy on these trucks. This is fantastic to me. Don't pry out. You got to lift up. <laughs> Okay, so just pull this away. Pull this little carefully. I'm going to pull that um, material away here, this uh, insulation. And I was looking to see if there was a light here, but I don't, I don't see the wire for it. Maybe, maybe it's not for a light. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember there being one there. But Okay, so anyway... All you want to do, let me get a light up in there. There's the keypad. And I've already taken off 
this clip that would have been right on there. I mean, it pulled literally just just pulled right off with with one. If you can see that, I don't have a light set up in there. Um, but you can see that it goes right over there. Just pulled that right off, and then. This thing here just comes right out like that. And I'm going to unplug it. Hopefully, I can see a little button to push maybe to get off. Let me set this down again, okay? Hang on. All right, so got that released. That comes right out. Uh, let's see, got the new one right here from Ford. And that looks way better. So that's after, what, this is an 06, so we got 15 and 500,000 miles, and I use that thing like crazy. So this ought to work much better. Let's see here. Click and um, let's see if I gotta grab a rag right quick here and just wipe off, clean that up a bit. Okay. go now let's see if I can get that um, tell you what stand by once more and I will get a light and you can watch me push that hopefully watch me push that up uh, that clip right on okay stand by all right let's see I got a light down in there so let's see if I can do this with one hand why I hold this camera and I know that things having some problems focusing but I think I only caught one edge of it here. I may have to just put this down again, but I think everybody gets the idea how easy this is. What I'm gonna have to do is just put the camera down and hold it from the other side, which I can't do. And wait a minute, maybe that got it. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, there it was. So then now it's completely locked in on both sides. it a better shot of that maybe that's all that thing is and well doesn't work oh there we go oh i wonder if they program that thing all right back with you so everything's good got it back together um that thing weren't working quite right because uh i i guess it's because i didn't have that that hooked up um i was trying to work it but it works fine if you have any doubt make sure your window's down <laughs> before you go trying it uh, but as you can see uh two end buttons they lock the doors and then let's see here uh, let's see and then open one open all all right thanks for watching grace and peace to you friends